What's up, everybody? Welcome, duelists, to the Surprise Friday stream. Hope everybody's doing great. Welcome, welcome. I have a massive issue where I'm addicted to tier limit. <laughs> I feel like the community has that. I feel like half of the community has that issue. <laughs> Neo's W, not with the scatter. Appreciate the 16 months, though. Raw, I'm a dinosaur. Thank you for the 22 as well. And Fashion Barbie, appreciate the... Continuing your sub. Seb Kenma, thank you for the prime. Tan Cup Magna, thank you for the 20. Appreciate you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Is it just me or does the does the, the webcam look a little bit different today? Am I tripping? I don't know. It's the the thing is uh, the, the 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 reason why I'm I think that might be possible. Uh, it's a bit higher than usual. Yeah, I, I, okay, I can. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Bad list today. Has it, has it been on a Friday recently? Has it been on a Friday recently? I'm not sure. Is Charlie okay? Charlie is okay. Yes, Charlie is okay. We we I haven't streamed yesterday because we had to go to the vet with him because he hasn't been eating super well and uh, and his 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 stomach was uh was doing a little something but he's uh, he's fine. It's just the the stress of moving and all that kind of stuff and you know obviously we're feeding him new food and all that kind of stuff. Uh, well, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, Catamantalodis. Catamantalodis. Yes, I said that right. Emergency Ultra Rare. Yeah, I, um, we're gonna take a look at it. I did get the, I did get the, um, the new gem bundles, so I, we should be able to, um, we should be able to get all the new decks and play a little bit of that. Charlie, did I miss something? That's the name of our cat we adopted on Monday, last Monday. There's, I'm not going to be able to, to get him into the stream because he's sleeping on the bed and I'm not going to drag him over just because. Um, but there's, there's a picture on my Twitter if you want to see that. Uh, Zeon, thank you for the 17 months. Appreciate all of you guys. Let's, uh, I appreciate all the subs coming in. Thank you so much. But let us go in with the stream. Why did you not? Why is it not called Opabinia? I, that that's kind of his second name, you know. <laughs> Bomb Atomica, thank you for the eighteen months. Uh, what, are you referring to Runic Whitewoods or what is it? All right, let's warm up. Let us warm up for this Friday stream. I, I see you guys have already predicted how badly we're gonna do today, so let's go. <laughs> thank you for the five killer cobra. Okay. Today is going to be a good day. I can feel it. I have no idea what this is. All right, cool. Good start. Uh, this looks familiar. This is the six samurai guys, I think. No, it's not. I shouldn't have said anything. Sound the retreat. Never seen that in my life. Uh, this is Amiba. Yeah, okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. We got some points. Uh, is this just Umi? Yeah, okay, nice. X10 Maple, thank you for the 11. Appreciate you. That looks like O Lion. That O Lion? Yeah, okay. Good, 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 good. Uh, this is a Musketeer trap, I think. Um. Fiendish deal. Okay. I don't know if it was worth trying for it, but I hate skipping a card when I know, when I almost know what it is. 
Um, this is the part, the, the, the hand, what is it called? The, the freaking mirror conductor. Yeah. Pendulums throw me off in this game sometimes because they have a larger image. Because the image is normally not squared. Uh, that's Sniffus. Mm. Win. Channeler? Yeah. Don't spam Sniffa only because Sniffa's a peer kid. God damn it. <laughs> I think this one's called Chaos Necromancer. No? Chaos. No. It's some. What is this? Energy drink. Oh, it's the trap card. Okay. Uh, Wargrass, thank you for the five months. Oh, that's a black luster. That's a black luster effect monster. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, this is not Revolution Synchron. This is some power tool stuff. I don't know the name of this card. It looks like a spell trap. I have no idea. Power break. Yeah, not going to happen. Uh, that's Orichalcos Shunoros. Oh, that's an Aqua Actress. Koopy? Nope. Arowana. No, it's, is it really the last one? Sick. Nice. Good start to the day. Battery man. See? Yeah. Resonator. Block resonator, I think. Oh, this is the worm, the thingy, the weird creature that in the Kaiba structure deck. Ah, uh, God. This is worm. Is it worm? Is it just wicked worm beast? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ooh, Phoenix Blade. Divine Sword Phoenix Blade. This feels familiar. That's a glad beast. I'm pretty sure. August. Augustus, yeah. Uh, Odin Tabris, thank you for the 17. And Reaper of Heroes, thank you for the 8. Appreciate you guys. Secret Village. Um, is that a math mech? Is that a Laplacian? Okay, I take it back. It's not a good day. We had a math mech in the card guesser. Shouldn't have streamed today. That's a odd eyes. However, uh, is that beast eyes? Beast eyes. This one, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think I've seen this one. No. Never seen that one. Okay, this is just the color white. Okay. Uh, crystal... what? Anyone know? Gem burst? Gem burst. That does not exist. Gem. I'm just gonna skip. I shouldn't have asked even. I shouldn't have waited because like there's like a thousand cards that look like this. Particle fusion. No. 
I should have just skipped it from the get go. Ah, this one, I've seen this one. It's a spirit. I have seen this guy. Yamato no Kami. Yeah. Ooh, this is old. This is the um, fairy tale, no, uh, fairy king Truesdale. Yep. Uh, it's not legendary black belt. It's something belt, though. Is it? No, there's not that many belts. It's not this one. Revival ribbon? Ribbon of Rebirth? Okay. I, did, I wouldn't have known that. I got that one from chat. Now, who are you? Eda the Sun Magician. Um, I've, I've seen this one before. Is it Spike Shell? Is it really Spike Shell? No. Shell. Steel Shell? Okay, that's what it is. Okay. Um, I don't know. I thought it was Magic Planter. I don't think it's Magic Planter. It is Magic Planter? That was my first thought. And then I was like, no, that's not what it looks like. Oh, God. Okay, that's, that's frustrating. On the first zoom, I was like, is that... Is that... Um, is that not Spring Dance Brother? What is it? Call? Call. Man, that magic planter. Um, samurai stuff. Kagemusha. Weather painter Aurora. Mm. It's not part of riches. It has two sides. Is that prosperity? Yeah, it's prosperity. Not World Legacy again. Ah, mind meld. Book of Moon. That gives me Grapha vibes. Yeah, okay. I have seen this one. But I don't know what the name is. Out of the blue. Uh, Sky Scourge. Adignister, maybe? No. Battle Wasp. Battle Wasp. How many are there? A lot. Arbalest. Alright, Skrelp got it. Nice. Um, 
Is that Reign of Mercy? Yeah. Oh, this is like um, Mecha Phantom Beast, like Air Assault or, or Air... No, the, the Air... Um, air Fueling or something? Something Fuel? No. XT's Override? Yeah, that's what I meant. It's clearly what I meant. That's what I've been saying this entire time. Uh, who is this? Oh, Paradise. Pair. Right? Yeah. Get it? Paradise? Paradise? Huh? Um This is the is this this is Laundry Dragon Maid, but this is not Laundry Dragon Maid. Laundry Trap? Laundry Trap. Okay. I've seen this one. But I have no idea what it's called. Necronize. All right, we have a shark here. There's only 2,000 different sharks, thankfully. Double shark? I'm just skipping it. It doesn't look like a double shark, but it is a double shark. It is just one shark, though. How does that make sense? Explain that. Okay, that's fabled. Fabled who, though? And Wraith? Yeah. Why did I know that? Weird. Um, I've seen this one before. But I'm very bad at naming Laval Val whatever. Kawakimaru. See, I'm very bad at naming Laval Val because they're named Kawakimaru. Uh, that's Tefnuit. This looks like I should know it. This is a koala. Now I just need to find out how to spell koala. Big koala. No. Koala koala. That one. Koalo koala. Okay. Dude, barely. I One more card for 800 and they give me this little guy. Who the hell is that? I have no idea. Skipping as fast as I can. Please! No, come on, we're so close. No, dude, only because I misspelled or picked the wrong koala, man. Obviously, it wasn't big koala. Big koala is the vanilla, man. Okay, if you put your points on 800 plus, I'm sorry. Read Laundry Trap, it's a paleo card. Laundry Trap. You have my attention. Wäsche Falle. <laughs> English. Once per chain, if a monster is normal or special to your field, you can send... The top card of your deck to the graveyard. If this card is sent from your deck to the grave by a card effect, you can target a card in your grave that was sent there this turn, except Laundry Trap. Add it to your hand, but until the end of your next turn after this resolves, you cannot activate cards or effects of the name of the, that name. You can only use this effect once per turn. You know... As much as I know you meant that as a meme, that is not completely terrible. Because basically whenever you summon a Paleo, you mill one extra card, and then if, it, if it's not even a bad mill itself. It's not even that bad. It's not even that bad. Okay. Let's do this one real quick. 
Oh, that, surely that's going to be real quick. Dark, level 4, exceed from 2015. Low attack, high defense. Is that Rhapsody? No, not enough defense. Um, rank 4, dark with high defense from 2015. That can't be that hard. That can't be that hard. It's not my stroke. My stroke is way older. Uh, low attack, high defense. Cowboy is an earth monster. Crazy box has more attack. Dark river. It's, it's less than 1500 attack. Raid Raptor. It could be four Strix. Oh, that's 2016. Raid Raptor. Is Raid Ra was Raid Raptor out in 2015? It was. It's not four streaks though. That's a rank five. Yeah, I'm not sure. Rise Falcon. That didn't even show up in the list of raid raptors because it was there's too many raid raptors. It, the, the, the list in this thing only shows you a select number of, of results. It, doesn't even, it wasn't even there. It did? Okay, then I just missed it. Then it was just entirely my fault. I would, I, I would like to live in the universe where it just wasn't there, though. You know, that'd be better for me personally. <laughs> uh, in Halvu, thank you for the three months. Yuto, thank you for the Prime. Appreciate the first time Prime. Thank you so much. And uh, Jin89, thank you for the 13. All right, warm up out of the way. Warm up out of the way. We have not much to do before we hop into some new game or new decks in Master Duel today because... I wanted to do this yesterday, but then I couldn't stream yesterday, so we're going to do it today. I'm hyped. There is uh, there's a lot of stuff in Master Duel that we're going to look at. First, before we hop over, we are going to take a look at some new cards, though. It is not many. I haven't read them yet. Uh, and they are from the Animation Chronicle 2024. Um, I don't know what kind of set this is. In the OCG, literally no idea. I just saw that there was some new cards, so we're going to take a look at some of these. All right. Uh, I don't know if they are part of a particular archetype, if they're retrains or whatever. No idea. Just going in completely blind here. Singularity Fiend. Level 1 Dark Fiend. Effect monster. Zero attack, zero defense. Wasn't there some synergy with zero attack fiends in the U Bell deck? Maybe that's interesting there. You can only use the effect of this card's name once per turn. When your opponent special summons a monster, you can discard this card and a spell destroy that monster or those monsters if it's multiples. Um. Huh. That is like almost interesting. I mean, it's interesting. It's it's a it's a hand trap right and that in itself makes it interesting and the effect isn't bad be able to destroy a special summit monster um and it completely destroys everything that like every deck that summons multiple things at the same time like i don't know if you pendulum summon five and then you hit get hit with that that's crazy um the thing is it's not generic because you'd have to play it in a deck where you have enough spell cards to make sure you can draw it with that it's kind of like, it's comparable to like Herald of the Orange Light in that sense. But instead of playing it with fairies, you want to play it with spell cards. And preferably you want to play it with spell cards that are good in the graveyard. Because if you, if you have to discard a spell card that you wanted in your hand, then this is very bad. Right? Like, uh, people in chat are mentioning like you could play this in like White Woods, right? And then, uh, and then that would be okay. Because White Woods is a deck that already wants to play a lot of spells that they want to discard. So there, I could see this being okay. My problem with this card is that for a card that is by the, most of the time going to be a minus one, because you're going to discard two to destroy one monster, and it is relatively situational because you have to play a deck that wants to discard spell cards, and you also have to be playing against a deck where you want to get rid of something, because like destruction without negating is not always the best form of interaction, right? Like, you like you compare this to something like Effect Veiler, and it's like, well, Effect Veiler, I don't have to... I don't have to discard another card with it, and um, it's... Instead of destroying a monster, I negate it, which can sometimes even be better. Um, 
I don't know. It might not be good enough. The payoff might not be strong enough for how situational this is, but it is not a terrible card. It's somewhat interesting. Um... It's also it's funny that if this is if this is, if this translation is accurate then this also misses timing which is also very weird for for it like if your opponent summons something uh, and as chainlink 2 or higher you're not going to be able to use this um which is which is very weird for a card that's being printed in 2024 maybe it's just a mistranslation though maybe they maybe they just translate but it'd be a weird one to make i feel like as a translator for Yu-Gi-Oh cards in the year 2024, you should know the difference between if and when. So I'm assuming this is correct. Um, not bad, though. Uh, Ancient Gear Statue. Okay, so this one, uh, this one I don't think is part of any archetype, even though it has some synergies because it's a fiend with zero attack. But this one is part of Ancient Gears. Level 2 Earth Machine. 500 attack, 800 defense. 500 attack, is that the... Um, is that the attack points that they need for like the what was that there's something that searches 500 attack or defense what, what's the important number box right Bo box can search this okay uh you can only special summon with the first effect of this card's name once per turn you can only use the second effect once per turn if your opponent controls more cards that uh, more monsters than you do you can special summon this card from your hand you contribute this card, special summon an ancient gear golem or a monster that mentions it, except ancient gear statue from hand or deck, ignoring its summoning conditions. Okay. Um, this is pretty good. At the same time, it's not crazy. But this is basically very much comparable to the Sword Soul Ecclesia. It's pretty much the same thing, except that it's not a quick effect on the second portion. Um, but that is decent. Uh, I, I like this kind of design. I've said this in the past, but I really like when they make cards that are solid going first, but they get better going second, right? I think that's a card design thing that they should do more often in the future is they should make cards that are just solid. You want to put them into your main deck because they are okay when you go first, but they get even better going second, like Ecclesia and like this one. I'm a big fan of that design. I think this is a completely balanced card as well. Like this one is not too powerful or anything. Um, to evaluate how good exactly this is for Ancient Gear, I would have to know Ancient Gear more, to be honest with you. Like, I'm not entirely sure how relevant this makes Ancient Gear. I don't... My guess is probably still not super good, but, um, a, a fine addition to the deck, for sure. Like, I mean, if someone is playing Ancient Gear, I'm sure they're appreciating this card. They need Ancient Gear Poplar. I mean, any deck would like to have a Poplar, uh, although I would not like... To, I would like to see them not make Poplars for every single archetype. Thank you. We have... Vaccine Gale, or Antidote Nurse. Rank 3 Light Machine Xyz. 1800 Attack, 1200 Defense. 2 Level 3 Monsters. Uh, 2 Plus Level 3 Monsters. Quick effect, detach one material from this card, then target a monster whose current attack and or defense is different from its original value. Its attack and defense become its original attack and defense. Then, if you targeted a monster you controlled at activation, it cannot be destroyed by battle or card effects this turn. That is pretty bad. Uh, second, once per turn, if another monster is special summoned to your field and this card has three or more materials, you can make that monster gain 900 attack. Yeah, this card sucks, unfortunately. I don't know why they made this. I don't know if this is a new card or if it's... Because this is the Animation Chronicle, so I think some of this is, like, from the anime. Um, but this, this card is not good, unfortunately. Not, not a very good card. Soul Fist. Uh, equip spell. Equip only to your Dragon Synchro Monster. Red Dragon Archfiend equipped with this card is unaffected by your opponent's activated card effects. Once per turn, you can change the attack of all face-up monsters your opponent controls to the equipped monsters. So all their attack becomes... Like, let's say you equip this to a Red Dragon Archfiend. Then all of their monsters become 3,000 attack. Okay. Once per turn, when an attack is declared involving the equipped monster, you can target a monster in your opponent's graveyard, banish it, and if you do, the equipped monster gains attack equal to the banished monsters until the end of this turn. 
Oh, this is Scarlight Synergy. I see. I was I was I was expecting the third effect to have something to do with the second effect because I was wondering why it would make your opponent's monster be as strong as yours. But you guys are right. If this is meant to be a it appears to be a Red Dragon Archfiend type of card, that makes it so that you can pop the entire board with Scarlight. Okay. Um I mean, this card is just very gimmicky. This is this just seems like another um anime lore type card. Maybe this came up in the anime, I'm not sure. But this, um, yeah, it's it's not great. It's not great, but it, I guess it's it fits the theme. All right, what is this down here? Oh, this is just alternative artwork of Silent Magician level 8 in Quarter Century Seeger Rare. Okay, this is not a new card. This is just a, a read, uh, redesign on Silent Magician level 8. Okay, cool. It'd be weird if they if they gave Silent Magician level 8 a different artwork in this style, but they didn't give the other ones a uh, the same style of artwork, wouldn't it? Have they done that already? Have I just missed that? Or have they just not revealed that yet? Cause, because that, that'd, be, that'd be weird, wouldn't it? Um, okay, just a quick recap. This card is not very good. This card is unfortunately also not very good. Uh, this card is solid for Ancient Gears. I'm pretty sure this is uh, decent. And this card is interesting, to say the least. Definitely the most interesting out of the bunch. But okay. All right. Reprints. I mean, looking at reprints... Looking at reprints for these sets is not relevant for us, I think. Because this is this is an OCG set at first. Right? This is the Animation Chronicle 2024 for the OCG. I don't know if this set is going to carry over to the TCG in the exact same shape or form. So we have no idea if these reprints mean anything for us. You know, maybe, maybe uh, it would make sense for them to reprint some of the gimmick puppets because gimmick puppets are receiving support. And some of, the, I think some of this stuff has gone up. So it'd be, it'd be nice if they did that, but we don't know. It's usually Battles of Legends or like Maze or something like that. Yeah, but like there's no point speculating because I can't tell you for sure. So like it's possible we get the same reprints. It's also possible we don't. So I don't know. Universal Up, thank you for the six months. Yes, what we're doing today, chat, is we are about to hop into Master Duel, open up some packs and build some new decks with the new cards and talk about what I think of these new support cards um, for these existing archetypes. That is exciting. All right, let's uh, open up Master Duel. Let's open up Master Duel and talk about these new cards that we got yesterday. I wish I could have streamed yesterday, but it wasn't possible. So let's, uh, let's hop right in. Pato Chela, thank you for the first time, Prime. I appreciate that. Okay, so first things first. First things first, uh, we need to open those free packs. Because I saw these this morning and I had to I had to hold back so hard to not open these up off stream because I wanted to do it on stream. So let's do the free polls. Also, reminder for you guys, if you haven't logged into Master Duel yet, you can log in and get some free packs here. Let's go. Okay, you get a free poll from the new Rescue Ace secret pack. Where we pull a Vessel of the Dragon Cycle. Okay, nothing too crazy, but it's a free super. We take those. Uh, and this is a new secret pack that contains... Um, Machina cards and Rescue Ace cards. Including, obviously, the new Preventer and the new Emergency. Which we'll talk about in a second. Uh, the other new secret pack is Mikanko. Which only has... Two new cards, which is Spirit Walk, which is somewhat viable, and then Ara Homie, which is completely, to my understanding, not, not not played at all in any version of Mikanko that I've seen. But free pull regardless. Okay, Battery Man Solar. All right, not too bad. Okay, we've got two questions here. We've got, I don't know, Dave TDE. Thank you for the bits. Can you make Chimera with or without branded? Because Jesse was not having a good time. I think he went 0-8 with it. 
Um, we can take a look at Chimera. I, I don't know how much time we have today for each individual deck because we've got Rescue Ace, we've got Pearly, we've got... Um, I don't think we need to try Mikanko. It didn't get anything super exciting. But we have Chimera. Um, like we can, we, we can take a look at it for sure. I, I, I'm not sure how, how much time we can put into every single deck, but we'll, we'll take a look at it. Uh, and the Dwight, thank you for the seven months. I'd like to get into Bestial Runic. Do you think it can compete in TCG? Uh, yes, it can. It's like you said, it's not going to be the best deck, but I think it can compete. Yes. And I think it's a, it's a good deck for what you are trying to achieve. Cause you said the objective isn't to win, but to train and become better. I think that's what it can do. Yeah, I think it's fine. Uh, TGR, thank you for the 16 months. And Iktuzio, thank you for the 16 months as well. Appreciate both of you. Thank you. And we've got the free pack from the Pearlies. Okay. All right, nothing here. Okay, fine. So those are the three new secret packs that you can open if you want to go into Rescue Ace individually, Mikanko, or Pearly. But there is also a new selection pack. And this is the one I want to talk about because it has... The, the interesting thing about this is that it has all these new cards. Like it has the new Pearlies or the new Pearly. It has the new Rescue Ace cards. And it has the new illusion support slash chimera parts plus it has a volzar lars and it has mikanko spirit walk for some reason they didn't go for they didn't even go for uh arahime in here i guess they knew no one wants that one uh and you get the the new altergeist which i'm personally not super hyped about but let's go through these one by one um i want to preface this by saying none of these decks are going to be better than snake eyes at the current iteration i i'm i'm gonna I'm have to be upfront with this we're gonna try our hands at these decks today but none of these are better than than snake eyes right the, where we're talking like for for most of these we're talking viable decks that you can definitely climb the ladder with for sure but they are not um they are not the best uh, oh, Arahime is here. I, I thought Arahime was an ultra rare, but it's just a super. Okay, my bad. It's here. Um, but yeah, you've got you've got a bunch of new things. Um, so let's go one by one. E Pearly Noir is a huge boost to Pearly, um, and I think this is going to make Pearly viable again. Um, definitely a viable tier two strategy, just based off of this one card, um, because now there's there's. Look, there's this thing, even if it's just one card, this, is, this does so many things for Pearly. First of all, the most important thing is that it gives you a rank up target for Sleepy Memory, which we have, we have, um, we've been missing forever, right? We, you've, you've, you are able to rank up with every Pearly Memory spell except for Sleepy, and now you can. Um, and this also gives you, this is also coincidentally also one of the best ones to make turn one because it gives you the the pearly trap card and i think the pearly trap setting up the pearly trap is something that you should prioritize with pearly in master duel because the 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 main deck white cat the 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 og pearly is semi-limited so i think the recycling from the trap is going to be very important in the long run and obviously this makes setting up um it makes setting up uh x purely noir so much easier and all that so this is definitely what pearly needed to have a chance also sleepy memory went back to three so that's interesting we're gonna try some pearly today as well um secondly we have the rescue ace support which i personally think out of these out of these new cards here i think the rescue ace have the highest chance to become meta super meta relevant i i don't know i i well rather i don't think they are quite better than snake eyes but they, are, they have a couple of distinct advantages. For example, I think that Rescue Ace at pretty much full power is pretty strong, but also has a significantly easier time against something like Maxi, which is going to be relevant in Master Duel. Like you look at something like Snake Eyes, and Snake Eyes doesn't really have a way to set up a board through Maxi. Rescue Ace, we're going to have to look in, into some of the combo lines. It's been a while since it's been relevant in the TCG, but I'm pretty sure that depending on how you how you play and if you get max seed, you can probably set up a Turbulence in like 
two special summons, maybe three, I'm not entirely sure, but not as many. And then you get the entire Rescue Ace back row, which is definitely respectable. Um, I think I think this deck is interesting for that reason, for for Master Duel, because it plays under under Maxi better. So like in an environment outside of Maxi, there is no way that Rescue Ace is better than Snake Eyes. But with Maxi in the mix, that is a good selling selling point to why you would want to play Rescue Ace. So I wanna I wanna try this deck today and see how it feels. Obviously, Emergency gives you so much. And Preventer is just a great layer of interruption and also a way to, like, it's an extender, a way to play through in the Biru and all that because it summons something from the Banished Pile and all that. Preventer is a great card. Uh, this deck does really, uh, this deck really hurts from not having um, access to SP Little Knight because that was great in a lot of going first lines. But it's, um, it's fine, I think. I think this is going to be an interesting deck. Uh, and then we have the Illusion Support. Now... Nightmare Magician, if you pull this card, you dismantle it with lightning speed. This card is unplayable. This card would probably not see play in GOAT format. These, um, on the other hand, the, the Illusion slash Chimera cards are good. Um, these cards are good, and this deck, is, this deck can be played both pure or with branded. And both of those versions have been viable in the TCG for quite some time. Um, however, they have currently kind of faded out of the. They've kind of faded out of the out of the the the, the meta game for the TCG simply because they haven't been able to keep up with the power level. When they came out, they were barely playable. Like they were solid, and now that decks have gotten stronger, Snake Eye has released and all that. You know, it's it's been um, it's been rough for the for the Illusion slash um, Chimera deck. Uh, we're still gonna try it. I'm interested to see how it performs. I think it's a very fun deck. I love summoning Guardian Chimera. That's very fun. And the deck has its own quick play fusion spell in Chimera Fusion that recycles itself back to hand. So I, I like this a lot. I don't know how well it plays under, under Max C, for example. We'll have to check out that. But we'll try it today. I think it's got some potential to be, to be a playable tier 2 strategy. Not much more than that. I don't think this will ever take over the meta by storm. But it's a, it's a fine deck. I'm glad it's finally here. I'm just happy overall with all of this. That it seems like with this release. And the, the release we got like what. Like a couple weeks ago. I don't know exactly when the last one was. But we're kind of catching up with the TCG card pool. It feels like we're getting closer and closer. I like that a lot. So I, I am looking forward to playing with these cards. And may, maybe even if they end up not being strong enough, I'm still happy that we finally got them. Um, Evil Dar Lars is a good standalone card. Two level sixes. While it has material, can't be targeted with monster effects. When the opponent activates a card or effect, you de detach two um, and negate a card on the field, which includes like you can negate like spell cards with this. Or if you have reptiles or dinosaurs as materials, you can use it twice. This is pretty cool because this card is generic. But for two level sixes, it's I don't think it's broken enough for it to be a problem when it's generic. But then when you have reptiles or dinosaurs, it becomes really good because it's not once per turn. Like you can just it's basically two omni negates in reptile or dinosaur decks. And it's not even just an omni, it just it just targets a card and negates. It's not as good as an omni negate. I think this card is solid, but not crazy. But it's decent. And then we got new Altergeist support, which is... Honestly, I don't think it's very good. I, I have not been a fan of the Altergeist support that they've done. Because in my eyes, they have turned Altergeist... Or Altergeist, which was meant to be a trap deck, they've kind of tried to turn it into a combo deck, which I don't think it does very well. I just don't think the deck is... I, I don't like it. I don't like it. Outside of the Adminia, it seems like everything is very affordable, though, and very low rarity, so it doesn't hurt. If you want to try it, sure, go ahead. I don't think you need many copies of the Adminia. Maybe one. Maybe you, you can get away with one. I don't know, but yeah. And then you have Mikanko Spirit Walk, which I've seen Mikanko's play sometimes in the TCG. I think this card is all right for Mikanko. I don't think it changes that much in terms of Mikanko's viability, but it's all right. Look at the Pearly Mate. I have... All right, that's cute. I like the I like the art style on this one. This this is a I think they should have done this from the get go. No, I like that they are they are keeping the drawn art style. You know, I don't like uh like for for all these like for example this right. They're trying to make it look realistic, which is also fine. 
but I I kind of like this this anime that they're they're keeping it the the drawn one. I I like that one. Click on it. Yeah, the, there's go, there's gonna be people that are gonna be very happy with this mate. I'm still gonna stick with my toad though. <laughs> All right. Lot of lots of yapping about the new cards. Let's actually open some packs and and get these cards and try them out. So. Um, I told you originally that it wasn't going to be worth it to open up the packs. And I think that's true. If you already have the Rescue Ace cards and you want to play Rescue Ace, you shouldn't be opening up this pack. Because there's seven, eight different Ultra Rares in here and you're only going to need Emergency and Preventer. So in the case that you already have all the Rescue Ace cards, I think it'd be better to just craft them. In my case, I think it's going to be smart to just open this pack because it has all the new cards. So if you are like me and you are interested in all of the new decks, then this pack just seems perfect for me. Because I don't, I don't think I need the old Rescue Ace cards. I just need all the new stuff. So let's go and do this. Uh, I just want to get right in. You can do a prediction for the next one, mods. <laughs> I called out of work to open these packs. There's no way that's real. You're, 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 you're joking. <laughs> you called in sick because E Purely Noir was released. No shot. <laughs> Trishula, thank you for the raid. Welcome, everybody. Uh, I'm sure you've been doing the same on stream. I'm sure, I'm sure you've also been trying the new decks. So welcome. We're doing the same thing. We just need to open some packs first because we don't have the cards yet. Okay, whoever that is. Okay, the uh, the new one of the new Chimera fusions. Trish has been playing Rescue Ace. Yeah, we want to try some Rescue Ace too. How 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 high on um, how high on Snake Eye cards have you been going? Because that's something I've been thinking of. Oh, we got a Chimera fusion. That's solid. I believe we had two Rainbow packs, but they were the last two. They're saving the best for last, guys. We're getting Ultra Rares, Copium. There we go. And it's the Lars. Okay, not not the one that I was looking for the most, but I, I won't uh, I won't complain about that one. That's all right. Just Bonfire and Poplar. Okay. Extia, and there's the Noir, okay. I don't know how many of this we need. It's either one or two, but one down. Okay, not bad. Not bad, not bad. All right, should we have a Gamba for this one? Do we already have one? Prediction ended. Oh no, that was for the first one. Okay, have a new prediction up and running. We'll open in, in, in 30 seconds. One, two doesn't make sense. Uh, probably, I was thinking one would be enough. I said that last time, and then a lot of people in chat said, um, that they, they think you need to. I don't know. I'm not even sure how you play Pearly, honestly. Do you, do you just go for, like, the hand trap approach? That seems to be the best one against Snake Eye. I was gonna run Ash if the deck felt inconsistent, but it's been, like... Preventer, Hydrant, Amblo set for every game, so I don't think it's needed. Yeah, I, I... It'd feel weird to put more normal summons in it at this point in in time. Do you... I, I, I'm assuming you play one Poplar, because drawing the Poplar isn't even that bad. You still play Diabellstar, though, surely, right? I mean, yeah, obviously. Okay, let's open 10 more. Okay, that's looking grim. We got one rainbow pack. Surely it, we're going to get some upgrades, though. Maxi is based. Thank you for the six months, even though I do not agree with your username. But if it's your six months, I've probably told you this already. <laughs> skip for good luck. All right, I'll skip for good luck. We did not get good luck from the skip. We got a second Noir. All right. Just one Ultra. Just one Ultra. Oh, 
but not the Hu Li. What will happen when Little Knight comes out? I mean, Little Knight is going to be in every deck. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. Is that what I am? Am I funny Yu-Gi-Oh man? I feel like there's other people that suit that criteria better. Well, I try. Now, I would like to see a Rescue Ace card here. Not the Nightmare Magician. I told you we're going to dismantle that one with the quickness. Giga Cannon. Oh, Rainbow. Please be emergency. That's the one I need the most of because you need three copies. Just give me an emergency. It's fine. I Look, I, I, I said I was between playing one or two. I don't need the third. Thank you. I showed you my Giga Cannon. Please respond. Oh, this is Samsara is new. That hit me out of nowhere. That's not bad. I mean, it's bad for the game because Monadium is bad for the game, but it's good for Monadium. Oh, I, if this if this was going to be a Royal, I, I already have one Royal. If this was the second Royal Impulse, I would have probably gone for the playset. So thank God it's not. All right. Dude, it's kind of... Oh, no, man. Skip for good luck. Uh, that's not that's not even good luck. I would have rather not pulled an ultra and gotten one more ultra in my next 10. I'll tell you that. Dude. I want to play Rescue Ace. Wouldn't it be better to just get the Rescue Ace pack now? Uh, I can check, but I, th I think I don't need the old Rescue Aces. I hope. <laughs> Thank you for the 10 months. My favorite frog is... Does Ronin Toad in count? I feel like it counts. My favorite Paleo is Olinoids. Or Morella. One of the two. Dude, stop, man! <sighs> Skip for good luck. I did that twice and it didn't work. Don't disappoint me, Utopia, please. Come on, Utopia! Okay. Well, that's technically 15 crafting points, so that's half an emergency. That is a full emergency. That's good. Okay, nice. All right, well, we have, uh, we can open 10 more. Uh, uh, let me see, actually, because I have the, the pearly stuff. I don't have, I, I didn't pull any of the chimera stuff as well. Dude, I had 6,000 gems. I thought that was going to be enough. Dude, I'm missing everything. This, uh, this almost looked the same as before we started opening it. Bro. I only have two hydrants as well. Is two hydrants enough? I think two is enough, right? Does it need three? Then the modern two is fine. Okay. 
Yeah, then we're not opening this one. We just keep opening. We just have to hope it gets better. No, oh, not the slow roll. Dude, stop all the super rares, man. Stop with all the supers. I don't want those. Okay. SRCP is good for royal fishing. Yeah, but like I would rather have ultra rares. <laughs> Dude, how I'm getting like infinite supers like Royal Opabinia though. Yeah, we can go for that at some point. Dude, I even got the special effects. I hate when that happens. Oh, that's just yellow and Utopia. Oh, there's not going to be a hollow in this. When are you going to open the new packs? Very funny. Because it looks like I haven't opened any yet. I get it. Dude, there's no way we can build those decks with that. Dude, I spent 50 bucks this morning. <laughs> uh... Bro, we can't even make one deck with this. We have 60 ultra rank points. We can't even make Rescue Ace or Chimera. Uh. Oh. I'm glad to hear that, Grumster. Appreciate that. And congrats. <laughs> oh, man. Why does this always happen? I shouldn't have streamed today.
There's no way this is enough either, by the way. This is just going to set me up for more frustration. Because I got 2,300 gems. There's no way that does it. Oh my god, man. Not more spirit walks and Lars. I got one sword knight. Oh. Dude, that was 37 bucks, man, for one mirror sword night. Oh, God, dude. Okay, this is the last one. This is the last one. Great, that makes up for all of it.
Thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you so much. Wait, 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 wait. What did you just do? What did you just do? Lionheart? Lionheart, what did you just do? They're an oil baron, it's okay. No, that's not okay, dude. Don't don't donate. I mean, I appreciate you a lot. But don't freaking put a hundred bucks in here to fuel this addiction. Hey, that's my that's my own. I I appreciate you a lot. I appreciate you a lot for that. But <laughs> I I feel kind of bad though. You you're not you guys are not supposed to to do that much for me. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate you though. Thank you so much. You have to gamble now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'll 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 I'll, I'll, I'll I will do it. It's okay, Washua. Don't don't just call me Washua right after. You're giving me mixed feelings, okay? Now I don't feel bad anymore, actually. I take it back. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Code name. Okay. Yo. Is that 50 gifties? Oh my god. Alright, cool. Never mind. The stream has been a banger. What a successful stream this has been. All right, wait up. We're, we're Pepega crediting. Oh my God, dude, no. Okay, please tell me, Lionheart, please tell me you're rich so I don't feel terrible right now. Please tell me you are freaking rich to... Yes, okay. All right, cool. You guys are wild. I, uh, you guys don't know how much I appreciate that. At the same time, I really hope you're doing that responsibly because you guys can afford it, okay? Please promise me that. All right, we have Pepega accredited. Please don't make me Pepega credit with that and then uh, and then withdraw it later. I don't even know if that's possible, but don't do that. <laughs> That'd be weird. <laughs> okay. So these are your packs now, essentially. So you pulled you just pulled an emergency. Congratulations. You're better. You are better at pulling emergency than I am. Dude. Hey. Dude. What is that? Um What is that meme with the guy? Yeah, <laughs> dude, this, this is me. I was going to give up. I was going to give up before hitting it big. I, I stopped, I stopped opening and you guys are freaking gamblers and you guys are making me continue that's crazy we quit before hitting it big that's wild it's just a fusion armament big but holy <laughs> oh yo what kind of lesson is that what kind of lesson is my stream teaching right now?
<laughs> Appreciate you as well. Thank you. Dude, five ultras? We gave up before hitting it big. That's crazy, dude. Okay, this is more like it. This is more like it. This is more what I'm used to. I feel right at home again. I'll skip this one. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, okay, we're back. We're back. We are so back, dude. We are so back. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, God. Oh, we're so back, everybody. Yes. Oh, come on, man. I haven't pulled a single bear from it. Or preventer. Or this. I guess I'm also missing this awful card, but... Bro, what is going on today, man? I'm getting mixed signals from the universe. I'm also getting a lot of Guardian Chimeras, to be fair. From the universe. This is my playset of Veda Kalantar or whatever it's called. <laughs> no, no, stop. Oh my god. Oh god, oh my god. Oh my god. Dude, not the nightmare magicians. Oh god. What is going on, man? There we go, a mirror sword knight, a useful card. The prediction was over five packs in. <laughs> was it 10 4 plus? Oh my god, that's so funny. Dude, we're still not there, by the way. We still have zero Preventer, zero Chimera, and zero Bear from it. But we have three Nightmare Magicians after we've already dismantled like three. And we have still three Noirs after we've dismantled like five. Oh, right! Chimera Runic! <laughs> I forgot that that was a thing. Stop doing one at a time. Counter-argument! Counter-argument! You must feel real stupid right now, Skrull. You must feel so stupid. <laughs> All right. Do I at least have enough stuff to craft those guys now? I should, right? <laughs> Biri Biri, thank you for the raid. 
I hope you had a good stream. I don't want to talk about what we're doing right now. <laughs> None of your business, honestly. Not a good lesson to be learned here anyways. <laughs> no, that's not the lesson. No, gambling is bad. No. No. <laughs> Don't gamble. Please. That should, that's enough, right? Yeah. Unicorn and Serpent. Oh, right. We can do this. Bonus. Rup. Oh, I can finally... Oh, this is going to feel so good. This has been bothering me forever. I have two regular unicorns and a glossy one. I can finally get rid of the glossy one. Oh, that's going to feel good. Oh, yes. That felt good. Phenomenal feeling. Oh, yes. <laughs> Dude, do not stop. Stop saying gambling. It's not gambling. It's not gambling. <sighs> okay. We, what, what did we need still? We need preventers and we need the chimera cards. And we have almost 300 points. So two preventers is 60. And then for the chimera stuff, we need what? Like one more of this, two more of this, two of this. So like five. That's 150. Yeah, we've got enough. Okay, okay, okay good. Okay, once again... Thank you so much to uh, Lionheart and um, Codename. I appreciate you guys tremendously. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. Appreciate that. Thank you for the amazing support. Okay, let us go into some actual... I, I feel like that was content. Let's, uh, let's go for... What do we start with, though? What do we start with? Do we start with... Uh, Chimera, Rescue Ace, or Pearly? I don't think it matters. I don't think it matters since we're going to do all of it today anyways. So let's start with Rescue Ace. Rescue Ace. Rescue Ace. Three. One. 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 One, one, right? Two, two, three, and two preventers. Oh, I get a free po if if I. Okay, good. I was going to say, if I pull the freaking Preventer now that I craft crafted it. Uh, okay. Do we play Impulse? Do we play Impulse? I'm not sure, because it gives them a target for Hita. I don't think you have the space for Impulse. Let's see. Okay, we definitely play Bonfire. With Poplar. One Poplar probably is fine. Uh, we play... I would think we play three Witches. And then we have 12 non-engine. That seems alright. So we play... Impermanence. Ash. Maxi. Dude, Nightmare Magician is going to give me literal nightmares. Uh, we can play Called By. I kind of want to play Valor. Valor is pretty good against Snake Eyes. This 42, is that fine? 
Ro oh, we have Rhoda. Rhoda and Frost. Frost seems all right. One for one. One for one is okay. Uh, the question is, what do we go for in the extra deck even? What's our, like, what, what is our combo? What do we do? Do we do Sunlight Wolf? Cyber stuff? We could go for the Terahertz package, because Terahertz is always game. What is Terahertz? D-save. Aggregator. Uh, what was that line again? I forgot. Linkaribo. Decoder. Oh, Reprodocus. Reprodocus. And Heat Soul, right? So what would you do? It was like... You reprodocus something into a cybers, then you make link decoder, then you make do you make heat soul? I forgot. Oh, it was protect code. It was protect code. And firewall, actual firewall dragon. Which I have a royal one. We're gonna start with that because I have a royal firewall. I think one impulse to search is not bad. I definitely need to, like, I... I'm I'm not sure what to cut from this honestly cuz I do think playing the hand traps is important. We'll see. So what am I missing in the extra deck? Hida seems good still. Hida Dark Princess. Oh, I've never played this deck with Promethean around. That might change some stuff. Sprite Elf? What's the Point of Sprite Elf. Probably play Ambla Whale. Maybe Zelantis too. This is tight now. The thing is, without SP Little Knight, without SP Little Knight, you have no way to protect your turbulence from imperm, right? So one way to do that was the, the proxy line, right? Oh, that's what elf is for. Yeah, that's much easier. Sprite elf. Yeah, we'll play elf for that. Okay, we have to cut one. Maybe the heat soul? Elf IP. I'm, I'm getting the feeling that we do not have enough space in the extra deck to play the terahertz combo. It is nice, but we're using, we're losing out on so much utility if we do that. How often can you make dark? It should be pretty easy because we can make Link Karibo. You don't need dark? Maybe not. It can be pretty nice to get your opponent's Die of Elstar though if you didn't have it yourself. Don't need Zelantis. What do I need though? What would I like? Like, it'd be nice to have... It'd be nice to have IP Mascarena. It'd be nice to have Nightmare Unicorn. And Phoenix. It'd be nice to have Apollo. 
Goddess would be nice in case anyone plays Pearly now. That's actually a good point. So, like... The Heat Soul that I just cut. Yeah, Heat Soul. Let's take out this package for now. This, 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 and this. It hurts a little bit, but... And then we have, what, access code, maybe? With Celine? That'd be 16, though. Celine seems nice in this. So, now we have to cut one. And then we have a lot of utility. That seems fine. This seems better. Uh, I could see it being Zelantis or Dark. Or Phoenix. Could be Phoenix. I don't think it's Unicorn if we play IP. Okay. Um, the thing is that with Rescue Ace, I have to, I definitely have to practice the going first lines um, because I, it's been a while. But I think we should be okay, especially because I have never played this deck with Princess and Poplar. I've never played it after um, Phantom Nightmare. But this seems fine. It's 44, which isn't ideal. At the same time, if the deck is still consistent, I think that's okay. Because you don't want to draw Poplar, you don't want to draw the one of Rescue Ace Spell and Traps. I think that's okay. The go slightly over 40. We would like to have Nibiru, honestly. I think Nibiru is good right now in Master Duel, but we don't have the room for it at this point. Maybe we can cut other stuff at some point. Um, let's just try and see how it goes. I have high hopes in this deck. I really do. Can we play the Impulse? Uh, yeah, we can play the one Royal Impulse after this game, if I don't forget. We've drawn pretty much the worst possible hand right off the bat, which is great. Absolutely phenomenal. Because we've drawn Bonfire with Poplar. Two one-off spells that you don't want to draw. Sick. Uh, okay, so this is combo now, which is fine. So, I guess, let's see if they interact with this. They might Veil or Impermit. I don't think they have Ash, because they would have probably Ashed the Poplar. Uh, the, 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 this one. Yeah, they have Imperm. Okay. That's fine, because we just go Alert. So that adds a Rescue Ace monster, and then we can extra normal airlifter, right? It's just airlifter, right? Add airlifter. Activate HQ. I'm not even sure if I should have put this Poplar here. Summon Lifter. Activate. Oh, they got more. They got two Imperms? Okay, that's annoying. I don't think we combo through that anymore. Unless I'm missing something. 
Um, we can still do some stuff, though. We can still go for... What is it? I definitely want... Like, we can go Sunlight Wolf. Vanish for Preventer. Make Promethean. Bring back... Heat Soul. How do I Heat Soul? Sunlight Wolf. Can I heat soul? I I can I, I make I make Link Rebo a special preventer. I can heat soul. Have nib too? Are you serious? I think I just pass. I could just pass. Or I make Sunlight Wolf or IP Masquerina. Bigger Preventer. I have a book. Yeah. Okay. So as soon as this, if this Hydrant hits the graveyard, I can use HQ to draw a card. Um, I'm not sure what exactly I can draw. That's not... That's not... I mean, it's fine. Uh, this... Uh, if I make IP, it's with Nib Token and Diabell Star. Can't keep the Diabell Star around, unfortunately. Uh, if I want to make Princess, I need... I can revive Poplar and I can end on Amblo Whale with a Princess in the graveyard. That seems okay. IP plus Princess isn't possible. Because I can't make IP with the Link Karibo. Gets walked over by Nib? Uh, no, it doesn't. The Amblo Whale is is big enough because it gains enough attack points. I think I'll do that. So I'll go through this. I can make Elf to bring back the IP Masquerina. That's not. That doesn't really do anything.
honestly, for what my hand was, and for them having double imperm Nibiru, this was still pretty good, honestly. Obviously, if they have Snake Eye Ash or Circular or anything of that nature, we're going to lose, but... Yeah. This is now only winnable if they completely mess up, like, so badly. But it's all- it's okay, honestly. With the hand that we had- oh. That hand just wasn't beatable for us. Double Imperm Nibiru plus full combo. Could have been winnable if we had one hand trap ourselves or any anything, but we didn't have anything. Uh, last Tiggity, thank you for the Prime. Appreciate that. Yeah, this looks more like it. Could be a mirror match because they're on 45. Uh, Tenpai Advocate, thank you for the gifts. I appreciate that. I think this is Rescue Ace. Oh, this is what I should have done last game, right? I should have made Link Karibo before using my original. I didn't even do that. What does this do? Special Rescue Ace from your hand. Okay, that's not what I want. Um, Valoring plays into talents. They're a 45 card deck. I'd rather use Valor first. Just Valor Turbulence? Yeah, I might keep Imperm for the Turbulence. Okay, I guess that was... The other risky thing, but like the thing is they play uh, 45, so I didn't think that was likely enough. I still can veil imperm the turbulence. If it was my only hand trap, I would have waited. The thing is, with um, with emergency, they can always get through a turbulence through one effect veiler. That always is possible, right? There is no way, like even if I hold veiler and imperm for the for the turbulence, I think they can get it through with. Um, emergency. Actually, they just don't do anything else, okay. Yeah, 
Is the Diabelster engine good enough or do you need the Poplar engine? I would highly recommend to play the Poplar stuff. I think it's worth it. Danny Banks, thank you for the first time Prime. Appreciate that. This is still not looking good because their hand is really, really strong. And ours, I mean, you can't push through that much. I saw a line, Poplar can search Hydrant. I mean, yeah, you just go, um, you go a Bonfire, Special Poplar, Poplar adds this, and then this summons Hydrant. It's pretty good. Okay, they hard drew this as well. Oh, okay. This is where they go go full snake eye combo or what? Do you play the trap for it? Yeah, we can't beat that shit. How much does Princess on Turbulence hurt? Uh, I mean, it depends. Obviously, if you don't have an extender, it hurts a lot. Interesting.
Still probably an imperm. Uh, okay. Only get to set three now. But that's fine. This. This. And this. <laughs> okay, it was alert. F R F R. Yeah, what what the hell was that? Hey Josh, haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh in paper since before the pandemic, but your content inspired me to give it another try. Gonna play a local tonight with Vanquish Soul. Keep up the good work. Big love from the US. I appreciate that. Thank you for the kind words. People are gonna say paid chatter again, but I appreciate that. And good luck. And base deck, by the way. Vanquish Soul's cool. Paid chatter FRFR. <laughs> This sounds okay. I am noticing that because you're playing like way over 40, I feel like you're seeing hand traps not enough, but... I don't know. I mean, everything that... The only thing that would happen if I cut this deck down to 40 is I would draw, contain, extinguish every hand, so... <laughs> Dude, stop. Dude, every day now we have someone with a nine month sub and they're saying like, oh my God, the pregnancy is over. <laughs> I feel like I should stop saying that. So you guys stop doing that. I feel like you guys are only doing that because I say it. Oh, that's not a good sign. They go for the trap. It's a good sign if this Ash goes through and they don't have a normal summon. It's a lot of if. It did go through, no call by, no gamma, no cross out. Okay, now don't normal summon Snake Eye Ash. It's the one thing I want. It's only one thing I want. Is it that much to ask for? Thank you. Nice. Okay. Now also, I'm gonna ask for something else. Don't maxi me. This one, I, 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 I keep doing that. Is there a way to set that so that it's always, is it your default? You know, because I always switch. There's probably an option to make it your default.
Okay. What's the best way to go about this? Emergency, summon, hydrant. This can't tribute from hand, right? Yeah. I should have discarded Turbulence for the Diabell Star, I think. So I could have banished it for Preventer, and then, yeah, that would have been better. If they had imparmed this, I could have special Preventer by banishing the Turbulence and then brought it back with Preventer and still be fine. Uh, what do I even want here? I'm probably going to be able to set four. I think it's just this, right? I just don't think they have anything. I mean, there has to be a way to game here. Promethean Revive Preventer is already in. Let's just try that first. This is the thing that I hate the most about the Snake Eye cards is because some games it just feels so overwhelming and then some games you ash them once and they pass. It feels so like unpredictable and so it doesn't it doesn't have anything to do with how good my opponent was. It is legitimately nothing about that. Okay, you guys wanted one impulse here. Okay, sure. It's called gambling and it's bad for the game. I think this is specifically a problem with one card combos. I think one card combos are the main issue when it comes to that. Dude, this poplar, man.
Maxi. I, I would actually rather get hit with Maxi than Ash here. I think it's Imperm. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. So this, I still get Turbulence. I can't really... I still get Turbulence. They should. Why didn't they? What? You didn't ash the original? Nah, you deserve to lose. There's no way you had ash. Uh, so I just make Hita. Do we make an untargetable? Do we make elf? Is that worth it here? Probably not. I don't think they have another hand trap. They probably would have negated the Hita. Although, you know what is interesting is if I go elf. If I go elf, I also can make my maxi dodge called by the grave. But I still want to make, I think it's Promethean into elf. Yeah, hold up. you okay <laughs> i mean that's your that's on you buddy that's on you that's not my fault you just hand trapped that incredibly wrong why promethean into elf there it's just i wanted promethean in the graveyard just as an, another layer of disruption because if i just go elf that's it if i if i put promethean in the graveyard it's another pop Wait, I just lost the coin flip and they picked second. I'm scared now. What's going on? Is that a Mikanko duelist? Potentially? Could be. Please ash my Rota. Nope. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I think I get impulse. I already have uh, a lifter, so... Incoming Duster Lightning Storm. It could honestly be like the this seems like a most of the blind second decks are pretty good into Rescue Ace, like because Rescue Ace is really weak into Lightning Storm Duster and all that kind of stuff. Okay, well, I drew double turbulence, man. Can I summon from hand with emergency? No, I think.
But this is what I meant earlier. Like, I do think that for, for a quote-unquote combo deck that just got max seed, this opener for two special summons is quite solid. This is one of the reasons why I think me this deck has got something to it for Master Duel. Um, the fact that you can do this with few special summons is pretty nice. I do like this. Uh, if I just click... Okay, yeah, it shuffles. Okay, nice. Mm, do I want to use one of them right away? Special from the opponent's graveyard? Definitely not. Do I want to add a Rescue Ace right now? Not really. Do I want to summon Preventer? Also not really. No. Uh. Let's just hope it's not, like, Duster Lightning Storm time. It could very well be, though, because they were blind second. Zodiac. Okay, well. Oh no, what? Huh? Please take Turbulence because you don't know Airlifter's secret effect. Please take Turbulence. Take Turbulence. Don't read them. Don't read them. Trust me. Just take Turbulence. Turbulence is crazy follow-up. No. No, 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 no. My day is getting progressively worse <laughs> as we speak.
Dude, not the hidden effect. I'm gonna make that deck now. What? Non-engine control? You're trying to win every game because max C resolves, then you have Duster called by and Thrust, and then like random engine pieces. Very impressive. Uh, uh, you cannot activate monster effects. The turn you activate this effect except Ancient Warriors. Okay, so that's turned off now. If I summon this, they're probably going to bounce it. Um, do any of these have a graveyard effect? No, that's just emergency, right? Yeah. Uh, I could attack this first, and then they probably bounce the preventer, and then I just slum summon turbulence. Uh, if they bounce my turbulence, I can crash the preventer to summon back No, it's probably just battle phase. Turbulence doesn't set that much is the problem, but... Hmm... Ah. Didn't they just draw the fucking best card they could have drawn? I'm pretty sure they did. You top deck Ash for Maxi, the Maxi that they were able to bounce because I resummoned it.
Incredible. Wouldn't you chain lifter to summon turbulence? Oh yeah, I was actually surviving and probably still winning that game. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, you're right. That's crazy. I actually would have won that. Yeah. Okay. My bad. Mm, probably this. Let's just go... Do we just go for the simple emergency combo first to see what happens? And then use Diabell Star as an extender if something happens to it. I think so. I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to summon Hydrant when I have Diabell Star. Okay, they were they kept the Veiler. That was smart. They kept the Veiler for the in case I had emergency. That was good. So we just go and try and find the turbulence the hard way. Did you play full power rescue ace in the TCG? Never at a tournament. I've I've like tested it a little bit, but not not really. Um Actually, they might be pearly. Like Phoenix. Gita. Okay, not gonna be... We don't have a way to Turbulence. So... Probably just pick up Maxi. The weird thing here is that I can't even... It's not even worth to summon this Diabell Star, really. Because I don't really have another target for the original Sinful Swells. Like, I can pop Lar without a target. It's not great. It might just be Special Preventer and Pass. Which is a book together with Maxi. And when the Preventer hits the graveyard, it resummons Airlifter for follow-up. Which is so bad to draw. I mean, I could see cutting Witch down to like one or two. Is there a point in going for stuff now? Not really, is there? No. Play more cards? I mean, you could unironically play like a snake eye package in this as well. And go even higher in card count. I don't think that's terrible either. Field buff? I don't want to lose the field spell just for like the 500 buff. Expose it to like removal. I want to keep it. It's, I think it's too important. Okay. Imperm as well. Sure. I hate the heavy hand trap formats. I really do.
We don't play Nib. So we're probably going to die to this. Relatively fast. Like, we'd have to draw Valor very, very quickly. We can't even draw Imperm. I guess we can draw like Impulse or Airlifter plus something. Or we can just draw Rescue Ace spells. That's also cool. No, we're, they're not quite there yet. That does not look like they're going for game anymore. Why would they do that? Send, sure. Still very far away from... Oak! What do you want Oak for? Oh, there's Impulse! New line question mark? Yeah, it's called misplaying. Don't steal my preventer like this. Zalantis is game. And what is the effect of effect veiler again? I forgot. Remind me, please. Also, I would get the preventer as well. And my prevent... Yeah, no. I, yeah. But what, whatever that was, man. Whatever that was. Um, 
I believe it's about time we look at one of the other decks. This deck, I think, has potential. I don't think this list is perfect yet. It's it's pretty solid for pure quote-unquote rescue ace. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. The deck seemed good. I, I think it's I think it's solid. I do like it. Um, the the one I want to try the others though, but this is a, I think this is a solid skeleton to start with. I think this is all right. I did like the one impulse after we added it. That seemed like a nice option. Uh, especially that one game where we drew Rhoda plus Airlifter. It was nice to have another target for it. I like that. Try Pearly now. We can try Pearly, and I also want to try Chimera. I, I think we can get both in today's stream, so I think we're fine either way. Up. Collect these. You know what? Let's go for one last Gamba, because we got, just got some gems. Let's, let, let's reinvest them. Let's just pull the... Let's pull a Chimera Ultra. I was joking. All right, cool. Minus 200. All right, Pearly. Pearly. We're going to play three Black Cat. Two white cats, one, three sleepy, um, also I just realized this was semi-limited, right? Why do I still have three? I must have not dismantled it when, uh, when it got semi-limited. Oh, pretty was semi-limited, hold up. Okay, then. Never mind. Uh, so we've got, what, 10 memories? We've got my friend. We've got two, one, 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 maybe two of this. I'm not sure, but probably one of each. Uh, I think you want three field spells right now with all the imperms and stuff going around. You probably want two, yeep, two leaps. And that's the early core that you have i like too pretty uh you mean beauty yeah i could see that maybe we'll see and then obviously i mean let's do the obvious we play maxis we probably play ash um it's probably just hand traps at the moment honestly in in master duel for pearly it's probably an imperm veiler nib situation imperm veiler Nibiru, the Prosp, and uh, you think Gamma is broken? Uh, you can play Gamma. Gamma is fine. I'd have to like cut probably in a beer. What am I missing? Okay, we need Zeus for sure. We probably play a downerd, even though you 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 don't really need that very often, but you might. Uh I do like the Sylvan rank one. And I also like Azalea. And obviously I think Anima is always an option. Mm. The Liralusk that attacks directly could be okay. This one. Ghost Trick Package? I want to try without the Ghost Trick Package. Because I think the Ghost Trick Package was there because the deck wasn't good enough going first consistently. It needed something more broken. I don't think that's true anymore with the new lines. I don't think you need that. I don't want to play the main deck bricks to to play those cards. Um I don't even know what I'm what, what did I play in in per, what, like what was the stuff that you played in Pearly? The second happiness because of unicorn that could be a reason. 
That could be okay. Yeah, sure. Nightmare Unicorn could still be around somewhere. Okay, let's 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 take a look at this main deck. Do I want to play Gamma? I I I think this is the deck where I I want to be on forty. I also think that theoretically one of the trap cards is enough. I think the consistency of the missing pots might need to be compensated with talents. I do like talents. Mm. I mean, there's the only other cards that I would want to play in this deck. I do like talents. And I do also kind of like called by. So this is kind of like the all the cards I want to play. Now I do think this deck needs to be closer to 40 or 40 ideally. Um, if we go take out one of the traps, we take out the Gamma package. We take out a Nibiru, then we can either take out the two called buys or we take out like a Talents and something else. Imperm isn't crazy here. What makes Imperm? Why do you think Imperm is bad here? Because you draw it with Noir, like with this in their opponents. I, I think... This is an argument that I've I, I do I do get what you're saying. Like it is cool to draw hand traps that are live with this, right? And your opponent, which is partially why I really like triple Nibiru. And Imperm doesn't fall into that category. But I still think at that point, when you get to the situation where you summon a a, a Noir and draw with sleepy memories, I think it's already looking pretty good for you. I think I'm, I'm okay with playing slightly less talents. The question is, do we need called by the grave? It is pretty good. Street is good against rescue ace. Uh, yeah, I think um, street is a mandatory three of. I like it a lot. Maybe we just try. Let's try it without talents for now. Let's try clean 40 without talents and we'll see if we miss the little extra oomph from, from talents. Um, Want to try Soravis overcalled? Soravis doesn't negate max seed the last time I checked. Yes? Okay, that just okay, that needed a reset for some reason. Also my food is getting cold, but I wanna wait I don't wanna take a break. Okay, what is what am I what 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 is going on here? One Rhino Heart did this, by the way. Hmm.
Very reasonable. Oh, yeah. The Strudel, Salik. Yeah. Reasonable stuff. I guess I will just toggle off my Nibiru because you just have a rule colors anyways. What? This Needlebug Nest milled Rollback Beast Scream Rhino Heart. <laughs> yeah, I, I what I said when I was muted was I'm going to get the cat mate anyways. I'm going to do it. Go keep pole, dude. Search Mothman or what?
Okay, so what is your plan here? Do you want to book the anima? Or what? Oh, you're going to make a big Apoloza, maybe? Okay. No matter what I do, if they use their interruptions correctly, I can't win. <laughs> Mudora. Huh? 
What was that? Dude, what are you doing? Target sleepy Sharon meta noise. Yeah. They can still use Baron is the problem. They have Snow, Baron, and Dragostapelia. And I need to force the Baron somehow. But all the things that I do, if they if they just think about it for a moment, they they know that they can just he was one of those. See if they allow this. I have to hope they mess it up. They should just let this go through. Oh, what does this do now? Just needle bugs nest. Okay. As funny as this is, we're still gonna lose. I can nib now, but not gonna do anything. Oh, wait, they haven't used Rulkalos yet. That as well. Yeah, well, I mean, we were not gonna win anyways. Why did I think they used Rulkalos? Oh, because it left the field and came back, but they hadn't used it. I mean, the fact that we even got to play this much is crazy, but yeah, that was not winnable. Hmm. 
We never miss. I could just grab Sleepy, rank up with this. Ah. Uh. Oh. Let's put this Noir to good use that we just got, the new toy. Just grab the field spell. Uh, we summoned one pearly. This, this. If I make Link Karibo, that still doesn't play into. Oh, I don't play Link Karibo. Okay, never mind. It's not gonna be like a crazy unaffected noir opener. Uh, well, it's gonna have five materials, so it's fine. It's going to be unaffected, but like, uh, we, we draw four. That's pretty good. Drawing four cards is pretty nice. Yep. Have you played with Sle Sleipnir yet? Of course. First day it came out, we played some Sleipnir. Uh, okay. Okay. I wonder what we do if we get max seed here. Do we chain another one and then just don't summon with this one? No. Uh, let's pitch this. They ash the lily. That's interesting. I mean, that's fine, actually. Ash against one of the quick plays is also not great. Hmm. 
Space Gyron, thank you for the seven months. And Helios, thank you for the full year as well. Appreciate that so much. Um, I don't know if I discard here. Uh, if anything, if anything, I would be discarding a fake veiler just to be, I would hope to hit with the pearly, but what am I hitting? Like the, I mean, field spell or my friend would be pretty good. But if I miss, it does nothing. And I already have draw two. The noir, the the ex purely noir is not going to be unaffected, but he can spin twice, so that's two shufflebacks. Maxi Valor. plus four. I th I think I don't. I think it's better to go for the safe. Just pass here. Wonderful. Only you're missing the Biru. Wait, what did I do? Uh, I hate when that happens. Okay, well. It's because I was toggled on. It asked my, yeah, well. It's one shuffle, is what I meant. I meant one shuffle, guys. I didn't mean two. Smart, so he can't summon Spirit of Fire. Yeah, I'm playing around Sunlight Wolf as well. It's Snake Eye. Thank you. I didn't realize. <laughs> Dude, they got everything though. Let's be real. Goodbye. Definitely optimal play, as you can see. <laughs> we won, so it must have been perfect. Oh, the mate. I forgot the mate. Dude, I have to pay a credit for the mate. Okay, well, I, you guys have been very kind today, so I'll do it. I shouldn't have bought those, uh, those boosters. How much is the mate? How much do I need to pay a credit? 250 or what? 300? 300. Okay, that's not that bad. Uh, okay. Dude, now it's asking me to confirm my PayPal because we pay pay credited too much today. Oh, God. Yes. 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 Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. At least it worked this time. Ah, <sighs> yeah. We even have a hundred left to buy a pack.
Phenomenal. Uh, Tiny Puddles, thank you for the Prime. Appreciate that. Uh, wait, need to swap mate. I bought it and then I would have still forgot. I, I would have forgotten it. It's the... Where is it? There. It's so dumb that you can't set mate by deck. There's a lot of things that are weird about this. It's also weird that you can't that you can't like have default accessories. I hate that it always goes back to the to the the, the vanilla stuff that you always have. Like why can't I set my favorite ones so that my decks always have those and I don't always have to go and swap around the stuff. Super annoying. Like we're still missing some quality of life features. But I guess we're not even we're still not out of beta, guys. So okay, you are not playing the game. But neither am I. Oh my god. Okay. They are playing 60 card. They opened. That's so funny, man. Now, do you start with a pendulum summon here or what? Maybe I should have maxed seed. Oh. Well, I'm playing a 60 card deck, so I'm never gonna draw my Super Heavy Samurai Monk Big Bang K, right? I'm never gonna draw that. I'll only play one. Dude, two in a row? Come on, what? How do you draw five hand traps twice in a row? How does that happen? The hell? Yo! Can I not? I mean, look. I'll allow it. <laughs> oh, they have emergency. Good thing I didn't veil her. Poker hand. It's not even a good poker hand. It's two pair. We're not getting out of this one, chat. We are not getting out of this one. Josh, Josh knows poker. I've played poker, yeah. Uh, I, I know what Bellatro is, but I haven't played it. It does look fun, though. Just bluff a full house. I mean, we knew that was there. I wonder if they're going to play around Nibiru. Because this is going to be summon number four. If they just slam the turbulence and nothing... Okay. Alright, cool. I don't know why you do this this way, but sure.
Dude, why did they make this Link Karibo? Shoutouts to Anthony Lopez. <laughs> that was mean. Okay. I figured that was going to happen. I don't feel like there's a point in going Azalea on the HQ. I don't feel like... Like, getting rid of HQ is nice, but at the moment it's dead. And I'm losing, like, all my... <laughs> it's all I have. Now some... I mean, Little Knight? Little Knight would be good here. <laughs> no, I think we just hope they don't have anything. Just don't have anything, man. Just one time. <laughs> Uh, cool. Sick. Thank you. Did we know about that? No. Okay. Punished? Punished for what? What did I do? What did I do? What did I get punished for? What would I- what should I have done? Punished for letting your Pearl Lily get impermed. Dude, why are you playing into Nip? Stop! Just stop a turbulence. I'm begging you. Please. Please. No. 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 <laughs> Dude. What are you doing? Oh my god. I don't. I almost don't want to nip them. I almost don't want to. I don't want. Oh my god. Now they know. Now they know because I didn't toggle off. Oh god. <laughs> Why didn't you just summon turbulence, man? <laughs> no, I it that now they know because I didn't toggle off because I was busy. Oh, preventer. Oh, okay. I guess. If they play Apo, they can now just make Apo, and then it's all fine. But if I... I mean, if I nib here, they... I lose, right? But they, they all play Apo, don't they? They all do play Apo, I think. I, I just have to hope they don't play it. Because if I if I nib now, the preventer brings back the banished hydrant. Yeah. It's... The fact that they needed a three card combo to play through Nibiru there is crazy. Invoker, thank you for the 14 months. And Ascalon, thank you for the first time prime. Appreciate that. Thank you. Toggle issue? Maybe they would do that play anyways, but yeah, it, it was a toggle issue. Okay, this hand's better, even though it's still not great. It only has one play. Or 
48 cards, by the way. 48 cards, by the way. Forty-eight card flu is criminal with how they all the all the stuff is limited. Like, how are you not breaking like crazy? What? Azalea pop? It'd be so sick if people just read the cards sometimes. Why do I even worry trying to build consistent decks? Like, why does not none of it matters, dude? So if I take the Eaglin, they have the choice between Didi Crow and Testudo Erat Newman. Is that what's... I mean, first of all, based card. If anyone could win a YCS with that card, that'd be so freaking cool, right? I mean, yeah, I'll just take the Eaglin. What the hell? Impressive.
this puts it in banished for no reason there, there is a reason the reason is i want to keep all my other cards but i want to get rid of the, the the lose one turn there is a reason for this Just set Eglin. Yeah, you're right. There was no reason. There was no reason. You win. I take it back. You win. It's okay, Josh. Not everyone is as good as me. Yeah. No, I got owned. I lost that. I lost that one. That's fair. I, uh, I'll i admit it. I lost. And now I rest. Um, I mean... Prop, prop, prop. That's game. I mean, I, I still, uh, I think so. But calculating purely OTK lines is sometimes a little awkward. I'm not sure. Because they can, I can attack one. It depends on the back row a little bit. Although it's unlikely to matter what the back row is. Because I can attack one Robina. Then use happiness effect. To add this makes this was the one that does this stop destruction. Yeah, this one. And then I can make this Robina unaffected or un un unable to be destroyed by battle with this one so if the back row is nothing this is gonna be game and happiness is gonna bounce the back row now as well all right just like this tuck return this uh and this unable to be destroyed by battle no See, the fact that the eagle in his banish didn't matter at all. Calm down. Toxic Streamer attacking with Pearly. Toxic Streamer, 25 damage. Okay, my headphones are dying. I quickly need to switch to the other one. Okay. 
Let's see if we can hit diamond one with this deck. And then if we do, we'll swap to, uh, we'll play some Chimera. If we win this one, we rank up. Check his deck. It was a 48 card flu. What do you want me to check it for? It just had all the flu cards and then a lot of stuff that you shouldn't be playing. Okay, hand is good. 50 cards, Rika sleeves. I'm scared. Summons airlifter. Great. Thank you. Thank you for letting me know that. I'm doing this because if I let them get the original, I want to ash the emergency. And if I let them get the original, if they go for hydrant, that one can't be targeted, correct? Because it, I, they have another rescue ace, so I want to imperm this one. Yeah. Alternative? Oh. Interesting. Or? So at the very minimum, this is still going to be, I mean, they can go, they can go princess into Amblo Whale at the very minimum. They can Hita now, but now that they already have three link materials on the board, that doesn't really offer them anything. Elf? They can go for Elf. Elf with an IP Mascarena in the graveyard is not that great though. The Ash animation is so disrespectful. Yeah, it's great. What was this? All right, well, guess maybe they wanted to see some Chimera gameplay, huh? Maybe it's that. Maybe they want to see some Chimera. <laughs> uh, I need to... What, what do I get rid of for now? I should have... Let's... I have... This one is outdated anyways, because it still has triple unicorn. Yeah. All right. Chimera. So... Do we play Chimera Pure, Branded Chimera, or Runic Chimera? Huh? We could play Runic Chimera. You know the answer? I do know the answer. I do know the answer. Hmm. In this deck, you could actually feasibly play three big winged bear from it. Um, but uh, maybe I might not. So, three, three. Uh, probably two. I'm not even sure. We play Guardian Chimera once or twice. I don't think we play any of the others. We definitely play. What's the guy's? What's the guy's name? Um, 
the, the new the fusion thing the light magnus or magnum magnum this guy we definitely play one or two we also play drago stapelia uh let me generate these for now Patchwork? Do we play Patchwork? You could. Uh, this... You could still run like two Alibur, one, yeah. Bearfomet is for sure a three of, by the way. Okay, let me quickly remind myself. This one was on summon, it adds a level five Fiend or Chimera Fusion. On normal or special, so this adds Chimera Fusion. Uh, this one is the Lone Fire Blossom, right? And Monster Negate. This one is the discard it to add and negates a targeting effect. And this one is on normal summon adds two cards. Normal or special. Yeah. And if it's fused away, it summons an illusion from the grave. Rune Rindbrum? What do you mean? Why Rindbrum? Um, maybe we play three, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure about this edge in package because the deck is very, very tight. I think we want outs to maxi as well, even though this deck, how bad is this deck into maxi? Like, let's say, let's say you start normal summon mirror sword knight and your opponent maxis you on the effect. You can like chain a runic to summon. Um, and then this one just summons this, right? This searches two cards, you set Chimera Fusion, and you pass, right? That would be the way, the, 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 the this, this package is bad into Maxi, though. The, this is, this is bad into Maxi, but we'll have to see. Let's, um... Let's cut the edge imps for now. Making the Chimera Fusion is fine into max. You rip a card, but you get the negates. That's true. Yeah. Uh, I do like talents here. Maybe two. Super poly? Hmm. The deck is very fragile to Ash. I mean, the thing is, you have multiple ways to bait Ash, though, right? Like, you either... You probably get Ashed on Hugin, and then your Sword Knight goes through, or vice versa. And you play talents. I think that's fine. I think I could see myself playing one more. And then, I mean, is Super Poly good? Emerald is good? What do you mean, Emerald? I Gusto Emerald or what? Yeah. Am I not locked into fusions most of the time? <laughs> Dude, we've played... It's been four hours of not playing runic decks. Give me my daily dose, please. I'm begging. Mm. 
It's to recycle the stuff. I mean, I, I can put one in. I don't know what else we would even need for the extra deck. I guess second Magnum could come up. We can try Super Poly. <laughs> uh, wait, wasn't Super Poly at two in Master Duel? Am I tripping? Is that the OCG where it's at too? It was at two. At launch. Dude, it's been a while since I've played Super Poly, unironically. Okay, I guess we'll take out one runic again. And then we play Mud Dragon and Garura. Is there any fancy Super Poly target that I need? Right now? Like Baron plus Savage? What does Baron Baron plus Savage is like Draco Equist, right? Draco Equist seems good. Dragon Synchro plus Warrior. Uh, what else could realistically come up? Earth Golem, that Ignister is Cybers plus Link. Do I cut one Magnum for this? Well, I'm still at 16. Never mind. We just cut one Magnum, period. Mm, do I really need Emerald? Well, who said Emerald? So, I, I mean, eh, yeah, I could see it. Should we try craft the Royal uh, Destruction? We need to set ourselves a limit, though. I don't want to spend all my super rare crafting points, not all of them. I'll craft, I'll craft 12. Oh, I thought. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Another day. Gazelle is not a good normal summon, you just need two? Uh, I think... Yeah, maybe. I think it's better than not having a normal summon, though. And if you have multiple normal summons, I think then it's also fine. Because isn't Gazelle, like, fine to fuse with from hand? Doesn't it have a graveyard effect when it's fused? Yeah. Because if I have two normal summons, I just normal summon the other one and then fuse with the gazelle. And if I have no other normal summon, then gazelle is fine. I think. I'll try, though. It can add Nightmare Magician. Well, unfortunately, I don't have a single Nightmare Magician. How unlucky is that? How unlucky is that? Are we expecting a TCG ban list today? The, I, I've told you the trick before. We are expecting a ban list every single day. So at some point, we're, we have to be correct. So yes, the ban list is today. What's the best runic version at the moment? I think it's bestial runic. Ah, okay, good. That's a lot of normal summons. And we're going second. They are thinking hard on sending Trivi Karma to the graveyard. Scream? Really? How does that make sense? 
They open Trivi Karma? Yeah, but like Scream is like the 50,000th card you would send. Like, wouldn't you send Solic? Did they open Solic and Trivi Karma? Don't mess with Runic decks, I told you. What was that? They must have opened Salik and Trivi Karma. That's the only way I can explain this. That must have been it, right? Monadium Tier. Okay, well, we take those. Can Branded Chimera be good in Master Duel because of the limits, maybe with Legal Verte? You see, the awkward thing about Branded Chimera is that I think in Branded Chimera, you want to use Branded Fusion as a way to bait Ash Blossom. Which sounds funny, because normally that's the one thing you don't want to get Ashed, but I think in that deck, you actually um, would rather resolve the, the Chimera stuff than the Branded stuff. But in Master Duel, you don't have so many... I don't even know if it's worth it to put like two Alubur one branded fusion or whatever it is into your deck with alongside with like albaz um try for this i i'm on triple chimera fusion by the way because i feel like um it's good to to dodge like valor and such can um, beast monster plus fiend monster. Okay, I can't make that. Add a level 5 fiend monster or chimera fusion from deck to hand. Okay, so... Uh, it's probably this. I don't see a use for a second Chimera Fusion. So this would add, yeah, this, this is still nice. This sends one from their hand. This adds. This specials out the snake. Uh, this just adds itself back to the hand now, right? Yeah. Re-add back. The Chimera cards are cool. They print a lot of value. I like them a lot. Uh, we can set this for a Guardian Chimera on their turn. The question is, do we go and try and grab a Fountain here, or do we not? The normally I would say yes I want fountain I mean obviously but like it's a little bit dangerous because if I go I'd have to discard the mirror sword knight I would have to discard the mirror sword knight grab fountain activate fountain set chimera fusion pass if they stop my max C I'm not gonna have a monster in hand for guardian chimera. But if I if my maxi goes through, it's com we're completely chilling. The alternative is set the freezing curses and use it as disruption if necessary, because they're gonna have four cards. I'm gonna have maxi freezing curses. I think it's safer to just set. I hate to say it, but I think we skip on fountain here. Oh, 
Oh no, 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 no. Ooh, they had Nibiru. We played around that. Cool. Was that going to be... No, was the Hugin going to be number four or five? Four, right? Normal summon. Fusion summon. Special summon. Yeah, it was, was going to be four. Okay. You know what? Could we have negated that? No, couldn't have. I just go Guardian Chimera, right? Pop both. So this summons, this can just summon this thing. Why skip on the special? Well, it's a quick effect. I just had no reason to activate it yet. It's during your opponent's turn. It's not a trigger. It's Okami. Thank you for the six months. Hope you have a nice weekend. Dude, set your super factorial. How hard is it? Yeah. During your opponent's turn. Okay, I can just do it end phase. Is it is it worth going through the other bird from I mean yeah, it's whatever. Going into battle phase because you can't. Oh yeah, they were like, I'm losing this game, but at least I have a battle phase. <laughs> Knight to thin the deck? Yeah, probably. I don't think I want to draw another of the level 5. This is one way how the runic cards help the Chimera deck. Because they had Ash. And, um... I mean, in this game, it didn't matter. But, yeah. Those are... 
runic cards for sure. Not even sure if this was... I shouldn't have started with Tip. I don't think. I think I should have tried to search Fountain first. And if they hand trap that, I can still tip for Fountain. Hmm. Well, now I... Now I need to go do this. They need beast, right? This needs a beast monster, so I can just summon Slipnir. I can just summon Slipnir, and in case, you know, I can just fuse with it later. But if I don't draw anything, then Slipnir is still, like, fine. Do I just try to draw two, or do I just... Do I throw in the slumber as well? I'll throw in the slumber. It's not greedy. Why well, banished birth? Why well, it's at two now? It's snake eye cash tira. Okay. It's not greedy because I have more runics. So even if they have a way to negate it here, okay. Okay. Well, I mean, sure. Um. I guess the runics are gonna need to do some work here. Do I set some? Do they have a way to deal with the fountain? Probably not. <laughs> Effect! Is this also beast? No, this is fairy. Why is this fairy? Oh, it resolved! Sure. <laughs> Dude, this deck is so fucking annoying, man. You banish the only birth? It's at two. Now. He plays one. Maybe they maybe they only play one. That's true. Okay. It is the most classic runic snake eye uh, snake eye cash tira hand. Literally. Fenrir unicorn snake eye ash. Always. Okay, that's the one thing I didn't want to hit. I didn't care about this Kurikara, but sure. This is somewhat annoying. I don't want to get. I mean, I have. I uh, actually not. It's not. It's not annoying. I have a second uh, freezing curse. It's fine. Uh, I have fusion, so let's go for this one.
Come on, give me the second flambush. Give me the second flambush. No. Emerald Pog? <laughs> I could Emerald, but I don't have three monsters in the grave. Okay, one card in hand is dealt with. This goes back. I think I'll use it right away, though. I think I'll just go with Guardian Chimera with Gary and the two in my hand. This... Adds... This hasn't triggered yet. Let's add this. Chimera Fusion. This, this, this. Uh, I want to summon this because I haven't used it yet either. Dude, I'm printing so many cards. hand is nice okay what's the best order here probably start with this impulse okay that's gonna let them if they play fire attacker they can immediately draw two discard one right Mm -hmm. But I can look at their hand after. And it gives me a target for flashing fire. That's pretty good. <laughs> Bravioli man, thank you for the prime. Appreciate the seven months. And ASD, thank you for the five months. Oh, discard Poplar. Okay, not bad. Well, they're still on five cards in hand and my tactics is live. Not too bad. I mean, they might have... If they chain Maxi here, I'll chain a Runic. And Chimera Fusion, actually. Uh, okay. Not a very good hand for them, honestly. The question is, do you think they run other targets for Bonfire? Because I could just leave it there and maybe it does absolutely nothing for them. I'll definitely keep Double Turbulence there. Uh, called by in case I draw Max C, I suppose. Bonfire since they run two Poplar. Um, I mean, I can deal with that though. No way they discarded Poplar if it's the only copy. That is actually true. If, the, if it's the only Poplar, they would have discarded Bonfire. 
If it's the only poplar, they would have discarded Bonfire. That's a good catch. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's Bonfire. Okay, well. Um, let's go and Chimera Fuse. Effect and effect. Doesn't Bonfire search to level one rescue? No, that's a machine. That's not a pyro. Uh, I have normal summons. It's this. Actually, I'm gonna. No, yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So activate. Add Mirror Sword Knight. Give me a reason not to play three Burfamet. I mean, if you're not playing Runix, then you won't. You can play two Gazelle. You can, however, in a lot of these games, Gazelle has been my only normal summon and it was still absolutely fine. I've been kind of liking drawing the gazelle, to be honest. We banished nothing important there, unfortunately. Okay. So it's two Turbulence, one Preventer, and one Called by the Grave. And we're going to discard one of them. One Turbulence. Okay, that's the worst discard, but they had two of that, so it was likely. And we have... This is a monster negate if they don't immediately called by it. This negates targeting, right? Yep. Summon turbulence right away. That's fine. I'll even I'll let that one happen because if they activate it if a rescue ace is normal, a special. Okay, so that was their draw. That was their draw. Sure. They used the called by on the mirror sword. They know what's going on. Okay. Um, in that case, I think I just flashing fire the turbulence now. And yeah, I don't want to let them set five. I set four. He has preventer. I'm aware, but what am I supposed to do? I can't just let him set five. I set four. What can I fuse? Is there anything I can fuse outside of Guardian Chimera that helps here? Magnum. When another card is activated, you can banish a poly or fusion, then target a card on the field, destroy it. Okay, so what if... Listen. Yeah, it doesn't quite work if they're smart. I was about to say, what if I make Magnus in defense... Magnus in defense position? Oh, but then that triggers rescue is fine. No, no, no. I have to let him go for now. Yeah, yeah, I have to let him link off this fire engine before I fuse.
Do I need to fuse with face ups? No. Negate and destroy. Do I do that? If I negate and destroy that, they get turbulence right now. Then they, they get turbulence right now. I activate this one to go into Guardian Chimera. On Summon of Guardian Chimera, they activate this. No, that's not good. That's no good. Anything you do, you want anyway? I don't think that's true. I think if they attack now, I'm in trouble. Okay, that's fine. Now I'm fine. They've used this in the in hand already, right? They can't summon this again. Yeah. Okay. Oh. I'm not sure if they think that I couldn't do this because you, I, the Hugin was face down. I don't think they knew that. Yeah. Well. All right. Bop, 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 bop. This next one. Lousy with the gift sub to ban Max. See, finally a gift sub with a message that I can get behind. Appreciate that. Thank you. Finally not a gift sub to a floodgate or something of that nature. Is the deck on Discord? Don't ask me. Ask the mod. Is it on Discord? It is on Discord, yes. Current deck list is the channel. It is there. This hand, maybe I should have started with the, the runic portion to bait Ash Blossom. But now we've, we're committed. Now they know we have this. They won't Ash my Hugin anyways. Gonna work, surely. ZB with the gift sub to Ray cosplay. Dude, I think that the, the weird thing is that we're getting to the point... Where these subs that you gifted are, um, like, uh, they're running out, which is weird. Yeah, I should have... This would have been a nice way to show off the synergy between the two. I was just yapping, so I didn't pay attention. But it would have been nice here to go Flashing Fire, Special Hugin, probably Bait Ash, and then go for the full Chimera combo. Unfortunately, I didn't do that. I, and I don't think it's worth picking up Fountain here without another Runic. I think I just set two. Oh my god, always, man. Always! It's at two and it's still always there, man. Uh, 
Ah, that's what you get. Okay, there, here we are. <laughs> we can do this all day. Runic Chimera worth or not? Uh, I mean, if you have the Chimera cards anyways, then I think you should give it a try. If you are looking for a really good deck, I don't think this is like top tier or anything. I I, I just think it's fun. Ah, guess what you were missing in your hand. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty good draw. I'm happy that you got that one. Pretty cool. Pretty cool card, honestly. Makes me super happy for you, because you also have that called by the grave chilling there. Super cool. Yeah, or the cross out, whatever. <laughs> yeah, just don't give subs to floodgates. It's that simple. <laughs> I love Maxi, man. Super Poly does not clear. Super Poly is not even good against Snake Eyes. Maybe they only play one Flamberge, Cobium? Nope. Wouldn't Super Poly have been good there? I mean, they still have the original. I don't know if I like it there. I don't think it makes a big difference. I think you have to wait anyways to get them in a... Okay, that's weird. I don't know what they're playing around, but sure. ZV gifted a sub to Floodgates, literal account name Floodgates, and Tygiantic gifted a sub to Fluanderi's Robina, which is technically not a Floodgate. I'll have you know that you failed the assignment. Or, well, technically you, you passed the assignment because I told you not to sub to a Floodgate, so that was actually well done. Thank you for the Prime X Rofa. I want to make Unchained. Is it meta or not? Uh, it's good. It's not meta. It's like tier 2. I don't know what you consider meta. We needed that turn one. Uh, Davidson, thank you for the 10 months. Appreciate you. Welcome back. And Chris, thank you for another gift sub to Fluan the Reason Robina, just in a slightly different spelling. That's even funnier than the first one. <laughs> Schmiffendor, thank you for the prime.
how do you look at Manadium in the current TCG? Uh, Manadium in my head, and I think I'm doing it a little bit of injustice because I don't like the deck. But in my head, it's always like, if it goes second, it feels so bad. Okay, let's see if we can bait an Ash here with the Hugin. Or we just get Maxied and it's the worst possible outcome. Mm. Against Maxi, it's better to first normal summon the Sword Knight. Because now they get one more draw. If I just normal summon the Sword Knight and then activate the Runic, it's kind of like uh, with Mole Cricket, because you can just chain the Sword Knight to the Maxi. I think it's worth going for Chimera Fusion in this spot. We talked about this earlier. You just get like a... Um, they draw one, but they also discard one random card. In in exchange for that, you get the uh, monster negate of the... Um, you get the monster negate of the Mirror Sword Knight in the graveyard online, which I think is worth it. And I'm not going to use this because this summons, right? Yeah, I'm not going to do that. So we get this, and you get the target negate from this, yeah. And you get the fusion spell back anyways. So it's pretty much just... I, I think it's good. So, Kodal... Adds... What's the best add? What's the best one to fuse with on the opponent's turn? From hand. Reborn an illusion, probably. Right? Probably reborn an illusion. Oh no. <laughs> Not the generator runix, man. So yeah, we've been doing we've we've done this turn what we've done all this time, but they still they had max C and they still only end up on six cards. <laughs> Spots is plenty. Thank you for the eight one. All right, not too bad. We have a. Uh... Okay, it's a it's runic generator to be expected at this point. They banished my one of destruction. I even crafted a glossy one. And it still gets banished. That's what I get. Or...
Do you think they have another runic? Because I could stop the fountain draw three if they don't have another runic. They also have... They have the... Okay, that distracted me. Um... If they don't have another runic, I can chain Chimera Fusion here. But then I also can't trigger... Nah, it's fine. Draw your three cards. I'll draw mine later. What do you fuse into now? It's still Magnus. Not the Bootin. Not the trias into Bootin. I won't allow it. Putin Roshi. <laughs> what version of Runic is this? So are you actually looking at the screen? Or are you just joining the stream and before the thing is even loaded or you like get ads or something, you're just like, what version of Runic are we playing this time? Which could legitimately be the case. Like, I, I wouldn't even, uh, you know, maybe you're just like, maybe you just join the stream and before the thing has even loaded, you're like, what version of Runic are we on? <laughs> Uh, it is, uh, we are playing Chimera Runic, and the opponent is playing Generator Runic. It is not the wildest of guesses. No, that's what I, that's what I meant. Like, it, it wouldn't even be that unreasonable. They are thinking a long time after this Diviner got negated. They are in shambles. Okay, the boss stage, sure. This is main phase. I want to fuse. I really want to fuse. I want to get rid of this. I love getting double max seed. It's my favorite thing to happen. Their deck sucks. There's nothing to draw. That's true. That's very annoying.
correct play was to summon Magnum to pop boss stage. I was thinking about that, yeah. The point of this slumber. Oh, they're trying. They think that this can protect. Okay. Protect Lofter? I guess it does protect one of the two. Yeah. I just realized I might lose this because my one destruction is banished. Because their tip banished my one destruction. That is actually a that is actually a problem. They can attach my fountain non-targeting. That's annoying. Yeah, that max C number two kind of destroyed me. I mean, we're still in this very much. Uh, oh, I could have max C'd here. Probably should have. But it's a genius move, because I get more draws now. Because they went for this one. These are, I think these generators are bad even for the, even for the, like, context of generators. Oh, they summoned Har from hand. Oh, hello, Super Poly. Okay, so. Tribute two generators and or rocks, target a card, banish it. Uh, not bad, that gets rid of Fountain. Um, go main phase first. Oh, I mean, yeah, I'll lose my thingy. That's okay.
I mean, I don't need I don't need fountain to win this game. No, they weren't on Bootin. They were just on DD Sprite. Okay, that's lame. Um. Yep. Send one monster. Send this. How expensive is it to make Chimera? Unfortunately, the, they have two Ultras now from the um, from these new packs, which is slightly annoying. The um, the Mirror Sword Knight is an Ultra. No, three actually. The Mirror Sword Knight is an Ultra. The Bearfomet is an Ultra, and the uh, the fusion one of the fusion monsters is an Ultra as well. So you need like between it's depending on how many of each you play from the new pack you need like seven or eight ultras. Which is annoying. Damn, that was close. Very close game. Can I even fuse with the Magnum? Uh, with the Herald? I don't think I can. Oh, I can. I can make a Mud Dragon. I just want them to have nothing. Why can't I make a mud dragon? Oh, the fusion spell needs to include a beast. Okay, well, I'll just give back. <laughs> I'll just give back the thing then. Monka Christ. Works with your cards too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why is blood still here? I, I I couldn't tell you even if I wanted to. I do not know. Opinion on the U Bell deck in the OCG? Uh it looks promising.
There we go. That Sleipnir was gonna carry, they thought. <laughs> they thought that Sleipnir was gonna carry. Okay. Um, what do we say? What do we say about um a a a paleo game to round off the stream? We've played all of the or like the three main new decks. Let's 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 round it off with a paleo game, huh? Let's do that. Here we go. Runic Paleo? Maybe someday. I don't know if we're ready for that technology yet. Do you think a hero lives? Ubel and Prisma would become a splashable engine to make Phantom of Ubel. Is Phantom of Ubel the fusion? The the fusion that you make for free or the one that, that, that you can like super poly everything into? It's probably the free one, right? Okay, they didn't draw a Saliak this time. This matchup could take a while, <laughs> depending on what they go for. King of the Swamp. Okay, that's bad for us. That's a lot of Omni Negates, potentially. Rhino Scream. Sick. Did you see that someone cooked up a white? What? what is this mill, man? No... Mudora and the Tierlemans name? What, how is this possible, man? Kick Colos is not okay. Why didn't you just tag out with the Kid Colos? Okay. How is it that every single one of my Tielemond opponents does their best to, to lose the game, but the, the universe simply will not let them lose because their mills are too crazy. Like, they cannot misplay enough to lose those games. How is that always the case? You're gonna discard your crime. Are you gonna banish like a tier limit now and then discard your crime for the Rhino Heart instead of just setting crime? Like, what are you doing? And I still can't beat it because I'm playing Paleozoics and you milled a Shuffler. You just banished the Shuffler for snow. Never mind. What is going on? And you milled the other tier limit name. <laughs> and heartbeat for the crime anyways. <laughs> That's what I mean! That's exactly what I mean! How does this work? Why does this work, man?
You drew Pearl or Rhino anyways, or what? Where's Pearl Rhino? Oh, you milled Pearl Rhino. Oh, okay. Okay, nothing. The Cartesian. Grief adds back a banished trap. Okay, sure. Could be worse. Uh well now I I didn't want to play into Scream if they if I didn't have to, but now I can just do this. If they want to book it with snow, so be it. It's fine. Okay. Rise to full height and then uh, needlebuck nest and then mill double rise. All right. Okay. Yeah. We're looking at a long stream today, guys. <laughs> That's probably going to be a long stream. Um Backjack effect. No paleo, sadly. I was hoping to get a paleo with that. That's fine. Haha! <laughs> Main phase two. Okay. Do we start a little something something here? Probably. Um. Let's do a. Canadia on this. <laughs> Why game bug? That's what I'm asking. Dude, I just realized balance of judgment is gonna go crazy. Okay, let's book that. Let's Morella.
they do have crime. They do have crime. They they don't have crime. I don't really have words for this. I don't have an explanation. Two ashes are banished is all I'll say. All I will say is that two ashes are banished. Do I chain the paleo for one less draw? I think the answer is yes, because I'm going to draw. What is it? At the moment, they have nine cards. I draw seven. If I chain the paleo, I quote unquote only draw six. It's my only paleo anyways. Now let's draw seven. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> that was great. Okay. Um, tune... This card rollback. Draw another reasoning. Phenomenal. Yes, give paleos, give paleos. Roll back. I don't really want to get too close to deck out. Okay, that's good. It's the back deck here. Sure. Milled Scream and Rhino. Can't use Rhino. <laughs> Dude, this matchup. This is so funny, man. Okay. Um. We have Snow and Iperia in the deck. Let's go. We get one of the two. Please don't mill too many at this point. I'm a little scared. Okay, snow. That's fine. Um... Uh, ba, 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 ba. How do I maneuver this? Ba, ba, ba. We do have, we can, can we go for special summoned a 28 card? So snow into snow into Artemis. Let's use snow. Snow. Banish, Morganite, Reasoning, 
griefing morganite balance one nest and trap trick Do I have spells? I do have three spells. Oh, this is about to be very epic. Still fine. It was almost very epic. That's okay. Uh, what do we roll back here? Dark was selected. Sure, don't care. The discard shuffler was also fucked up. All right. Fine. We need to play this a little bit faster. I want to put back a rollback. Mudora and Keldor are banished, yeah. Set. 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 We literally can't lose at this point. Like, I, I don't think we can die ever. Sure, get your Cartesia back, why ever it's there.
Dude, that balance of judgment felt so good. Can't believe how good that felt. So what is the set was meta noise, right? Crime is in the grave. Oh no, it's Salik. That's fine. Super Poly ruined all the fun. Dude, if that Zero Boros would have gone off, oh god, how good would that have been? Holy. Why do you keep calling this dark? How does this matter? I'm confused. <laughs> Sado, thank you for the bits. Explain why Tierlament is losing then. Huh? Explain why they're losing. Riddle me that. <laughs> okay, sure. You have six cards left in your deck. Do you play Zeus? I don't need this Link Karibo anyways. I'll just use it. They might play Zeus. They have also not read Viboku. Sick. So maybe they don't play Zeus. They just didn't read Viboku. It's also possible. One mad Zeus. I mean, they could battle with this and then make a rank four. Peace. Easiest game of my life. Alright, dude, the, the one last game with Paleo is always a banger. One last game with Paleo is set yourself up for success every single time. Without fail. Without fail. Dude, that, that balance of judgment. Woo! <laughs> it's just the best deck. It is just the best deck. What are you going to do? All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed the stream. Um, once again, sorry for the inconsistent streams this week. It's been a little busy with uh, getting the new cat and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I hope you enjoyed today's stream. I'll see you again on Monday. We should be back to a completely normal streaming schedule next week. So, yeah. Appreciate you for hanging out. Thank you for the support as per usual. You guys have been amazing today. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the stream. Hope you have a wonderful weekend. And I will just quickly find you someone to raid. Uh, I'll send you over to Nesh. Why not? I haven't raided Nesh in a while. Appreciate you guys for being here. Hope you have a good weekend. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support as per usual. I'm just yapping because I have to wait 10 seconds to start the raid. Um, but yeah, no, thank you for being here. And I'll see you around. Say hello to Nesh. Bye bye, everybody. Peace. Shin Wan, thank you for the last minute sub. Appreciate that. Thank you. Bye-bye, everybody. Peace.